Hey guys, what's up? This is Luke from the Cardboard Review, and I have a blaster here of Champs. This is retail review number 15, and according to what you guys said last time, you guys want to see Champs opened. I haven't opened Champs in a long time. In fact, Champs is one of the first hockey products that I bought at Target and retail stores when I got back into hockey. I thought it was really unique. I didn't know a whole lot about it, but I know you get mini cards in it and stuff like that. And so I thought that was pretty cool until I realized, um, well, the mini cards are hard to sort of store and all that kind of stuff. So um, recently I haven't gotten it, and they don't really make champs anymore, but it's still a really fun product. I like it a lot. Um, I think it's an interesting break, and I do have this blaster here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what I get. Not too many blasters and retail products left from that time I bought all this stuff at Dave and Adam's Card World, but um, I will be getting some more. Don't worry, retail review is not going to end, but the list is very, very short now. Um, let's see, before we do these packs, let me check how many products I have left to go. I only have two, 0910 Series 1 from Upper Deck and 1011 Series 1 from Upper Deck. So if you want to see either of those open, let me know down below in the comments of retail review number 15 on my website the cardboard review okay so let's see what we got here we got 12 packs per box let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 packs per box of champs and uh should be getting a bunch of stuff in here so let's take a look um how we do i know these cards are sort of on the older card stock which is stuff i like okay so basically looks like that we have a Champs Wonders of the World Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Okay. Base of Kessler, Gabrick, and Koivu. The cards are pretty cool. I mean, I like the cards a lot. I always like the old school cardboard feel. I know people. some people try to put together the Champs set. It's something extremely difficult. There are so many variations and crazy things you can get in it. Bobby Orr, Zach Parise, a Luke Shen mini card, and let me pause it. I need to get that phone. So sorry about that, guys. Just a minute. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get the phone. So I was in the middle of saying, got a Luke Shen mini and a Clark Gillies. This is actually a parallel card. You can tell it's a little bit lighter blue. I don't know if you can tell with that, but it's actually a well. The glare doesn't. It makes it look the same actually to me in the screen, but this is a parallel. It is a lighter shade of blue. And there are a bunch of parallels that you can get in the set. Oh, actually, you know what? I better check the back of this Shen. So the back is just the regular Champs back, but sometimes they have different colors and stuff like that. Landy McDonald, Milan Lucic, Gordie Howe mini card. Regular back. And a red parallel of Patrick Berglund. All right, Marty Havlat, Kyle Ocposo, mini card, standard back, Milan Hayduke, and Tony Esposito. Okay, next up we got an Anze Kopitar base, the Leatherback Turtle. Nice, Cam Ward, and Gilbert Perrault. All right, we got a Thornton, Joe Thornton, Bobby Clark, a Jeff Carter mini card, standard back, and a Dion Phaneuf, parallel card, light blue. These packs are actually kind of hard to open because there's so few cards and the cards are really bendy. I'm always afraid I'm going to mess them up. Marty Turco, we have a rookie card of Wes O'Neill. Rookie cards have like a gold border to them. Looks like the regular black border or black back. Mike Richards and Steve Mason. All right, we got a Pekka Rene base. Brian Gianta mini card. Sidney Crosby base card. And Alice Hemke base card. 
Alright guys, there's four more packs to go. Sheldon Sore, Marc Messier, historical figures of Calvin Coolidge, and a Henrik Lundqvist red parallel card. Definitely for you guys like Ender Rainbows, these are the challenging ones to try to get. We've got Alex Delvecchio, Yari Curry, Ilya Brzgalov, mini card, and a Marcus Nasland teal rainbow card. Parallel. Malkin, Brad Richards, I think this is Jody Shelley, yep, Jody Shelley of the Sharks, and the yellow, which I think are pretty hard to find, Marion Gabrick. So actually two Ranger um, parallels that I think are pretty cool, but I don't think are worth tons of money. And guys, this is the last pack. Blake Wheeler, Alex Burrows, standard back, Patrick Berglund, and Marty Brodeur. So no huge hits. Uh, got a, some parallel cards, a bunch of mini cards in this box. Actually, I'm a little bit curious as to see if it does state the odds. The odds are stated on the box here. And rookie cards are 1 in 8. Regular card parallels are 1 in 4. Threads are 1 in 24. Signatures 1 in 3,000. They don't tell you the odds of the individual colors, so I was kind of hoping to see that, but they don't have that, so unfortunately that's not it. Oh well guys, no big deal. That was retail review number 15, a blaster box of champs. Let me know what you thought of what I got. I'm going to be writing my review on my website, so check that out. I'm going to leave a link down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.